let's talk about convergent evolution, and then let's use that convergent evolution to debunk a conspiracy theory. Okay, first of all, what is convergent evolution? So, convergent evolution happens when similar traits are evolved without coming from a common ancestor. So, for example, birds, pterosaurs, and bats, they all have wings, and at some point, they did share a common ancestor. However, that common ancestor did not have wings. So, somewhere along the path of the evolution of birds, pterosaurs, and bats, wings evolved three separate times. So, the common ancestor between birds and bats did not have wings, but somewhere evolution decided, hey, let's give these guys wings. Well, that's not exactly how it works, but you get the idea. Same thing with dolphins and sharks. Just at a glance, dolphins and sharks may look pretty similar, and that's because this body plan is one of the most efficient for moving through water. Sharks are fish in the group Chondrichthys, and dolphins are mammals. So they are not closely related at all, but they do look like they could be, and people used to think that they actually were. And they look similar because this body plan, the like long, sleek um, body and like those fins placement and everything, is one of the most efficient ways to move through water. So it evolved convergently because that's just basically the best way to do it. So how does that relate to a conspiracy theory and how are we going to debunk it? Pyramids. This one is an Egyptian pyramid and this one is a Mayan pyramid. They look similar, no? Now, some people might think that they look similar is because they were built by aliens. I would hope lots of people watching my TikToks don't actually think that, but that is a theory that aliens came down and told the Egyptians and the Mayans to build pyramids. So how do we debunk this? Well, much like the body plan of the shark and the dolphin, the pyramid structure of the Egyptian and the Mayan pyramid is one of the best ways to do this because it makes it not fall down. Wide base and top that's narrower and smaller with less weight on it is good. A pyramid is one of the most structurally stable shapes, so people built pyramids this way because that is the best way to build buildings that they won't fall down. And if you use this as an opportunity to tell me that now sharks and dolphins were made by aliens, I'm coming into your house and breaking all of your spaghetti in half.